right, what's going on, boys and girls? So, we have a, another reaction video, and I know I just did one not that long ago, but this one, this one. I like the name of this one. It caught my attention. It's called The Problem with the Linux, uh, with Linux is the Community by Ion PC. Now, this can go one of two ways. This can go good or bad. Please, for the love of fucking God, I'm hoping this goes good because uh, my head... Cannot take any more dumb after the last reaction video I did because wow, that hurt a lot to watch and let alone listen to. So let's get in to see what I on PC has to say. Um, it, yeah. So I wanted to make a video because I've been debating on switching my main PC over to Linux as well as the PC I have. Um, behind me, I don't think the camera's ever going to pick it up, but it's another HP pre-built I have back there um, <clears throat> that I've been actually messing around putting Linux on, deciding what distro, and I've been uh, swapping distros and that sort of thing. But I want to make a video over a video by Chris here, who I, I have watched his channel. And I've done, uh, and he's helped me some in terms of switching Linux, figuring out my distro, um, that sort of thing. And I was only going to put Ubuntu on that computer. Um, but what I started to ask, and something that I'm going to look into is, why do so many people hate Ubuntu and on the surface I can understand why L let me put it uh, to sort of talk about some of the main points that not only Chris here but other people talk about is that uh, Canonical the company that makes Ubuntu uh, wants user data um, they're not as popular as they once were since they switched to the GNOME desktop um, which is all, th those are facts, of course. Ubuntu. Okay, so I wanted to give him a bit to actually, to make a point before I actually go in on this. First off, uh, this particular video that Chris Titus Tech did makes him look like a fucking dumbass. Short opinion. Like, people want to hear me rant and rave? Something tells me this is going to be a rant and rave kind of video. Uh, as far as the user data thing, it's optional. Oh, well, it's clicked in by default or it's not clicked in by default. Can you unclick it and does it still send the shit? If the answer is no, then fucking stop whining about it. This isn't Windows 10 where basically fucking, if you look at the EULA, which nobody does, Windows 10 is basically a giant fucking keylogger. Funny how 10 years ago that would have been considered a bad thing. Now it's considered a quality of life improvement shit for your operating system. Funny how that works. As far as Ubuntu not being as popular as it was. Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, most of the Linux fanboys, and I'm just going to be blunt, tend to use DistroWatch as his measuring stick. If you do, you're fucking dumbass. If you're talking Core Ubuntu and you're going by DistroWatch standards, okay. If you're talking just Ubuntu base shit, again, see prior statement being a fucking dumbass. Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu, uh, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, um, all the shit that's based off every one of those. Uh, elementary, Linux Mint. Yeah, real unpopular. If you're too stupid to see that, you are fucking wrong. Uh, you might want to get yourself a fucking lobotomy because I don't think you can get any fucking stupider. Anyway, rant next. Two hasn't isn't as popular as it used to be. But this is just kind of a message out to the Linux community. This is a message out to people who hate Ubuntu. This is a message out to people that criticize distros that people run because they don't like that distro and I don't think that Chris would outright tell me don't run Ubuntu he would understand why I would um, 
But the question is, is do you think that people are going to care about why you hate Ubuntu? Do you, do you think that people are going to care if Canonical wants some of their user data from their system specs or something like that? Because I'll tell you right now, and this is something that uh, I thought about too, someone pointed out to me, someone made me think about it, is that Microsoft politely asks for your data during the Windows installation, and then if you disable those features, they will find a way to re-enable them and get your data by force. Canonical and other Linux distros such as Ubuntu Mate, um, I think a lot of the Ubuntu flavors, if not all of them, ask you, they request it. And you don't have to give it to them if you don't want to. And you just proved my point there. Good on you for having a brain and a head on your shoulders. And, and I'm not saying that sarcastically. I am glad you are questioning the Linux personalities, opinions, and takes on things. Because here's the thing, really, at the end of the day, any personality, any person that uses something, they're going to look at what you need, not what they need. They're going to ask you your experience level, how you want your computing experience, and make a recommendation based off that. But I find the Linux community a little ridiculous in the sense of someone will request your data, give you the full on option of whether or not you give that to them, and they'll be like, that's blasphemy, I'm not running this distribution. You know, like, I can't believe Canonical would do this. It's like, do you really care? Do you really To answer your question, no. No, they don't care. At the end of the day, what most of these jackasses don't realize is that the hardware stuff, specifically the, the, the little checkbox, whether or not you, you, you send it to Canonical or not, that whole thing, well, that actually helps with OEM deals to get our precious operating system slash kernel that we love on more fucking hardware. But apparently, apparently, some people in the Linux community know better or they have their head shoved so far up their own ass that they're kissing their fucking colon. Please. I know licking ice cream and putting it back in the freezer is a thing now. But please, for the love of God, stop drinking the fucking Kool-Aid and licking your own nutsack so you can fucking pleasure yourself by hearing yourself talk. Because that's what I hear a lot of the time from a lot of these fucking opinion pieces. Linux is the, uh, yeah, Ubuntu is the devil. Clear Linux is the devil. Uh, so this is just going to be a direct question, Chris. How many other things are the devil? Do you think that other people care? Do you think that my grandma would care if I installed Linux on her computer, if I installed Ubuntu on her computer, and during the installation, or at some point after the installation, they asked her if she wanted her user data. She reads, she's like, okay, if it's to make Ubuntu better, I'll give it to them. I think that there is just this. There's a problem with some video games. There's a problem that people have with some video games or some TV shows or Linux distributions of they're interested, they see the community or the fan base, and they go, nope. And see, so here's the thing. This is the thing that really irks me. Yeah, this is kind of how I feel about like some of the Game of Thrones fans, <laughs> really, at the end of the day. Uh, 
to make a long story short on this, it's the ones that we let speak for us. And that's the problem. The ones with common sense, the ones who aren't busy worrying about kissing their own ass and preaching to the fucking echo chamber of a choir that fucking follow the fucking pedophile loving Stallman and his fucking cohort of bullshit. Um, really at the end of the day, that is just something that will turn a lot of people off. And it's the people like you, the people that are willing to question stuff, put yourself out there and say, Hey, this is fucking stupid. We need more people like you willing to challenge these dumbass stereotypes that the Linux community keeps willingly indulging like a bunch of morons. We preach growth, but we hinder growth in the same fucking breath. Uh, okay. And I think that's what is honestly a huge problem with Linux. You know, you're, you're, you're telling people choice on your distribution doesn't matter. You know, just use Linux better than Windows. Anything is better than Windows at this point. Use, uh, uh, and then they'll say a lot of them are, a lot of popular ones are Linux Mint, Minjaro, uh, Debian, uh, whatever. Someone says, oh, well, I'm going to try Ubuntu. And you're like, that's blasphemy. Canonical is a bad company. Like, they're terrible. They request for your data. And it's like, hang on, I just thought you told me that distribution doesn't matter. And it's kind of like, you can have your beliefs. You can have your, uh, ideologies and, Whatever else, that in a sense is fine, but when you tell someone that based on your beliefs and their things is that th they chose wrong, even though you told them to choose anything. Here's the thing, and this is something that some people are gonna like, some people are gonna hate. Most ideologues are hypocrites. They talk out of two orifices. And each one produces the same thing. They either talk out of their ass, which produces shit, or they spew shit that comes out of their mouth. Can't really tell the difference because, yeah, same substance comes out of both. Ideolog ideology is great. Not everyone's going to file your fucking ideology. And here's the thing. For the ideologues, get the fuck over yourselves. End of story. Have your beliefs, push your beliefs. Fight for fight for the change that you fucking feel you need. That's awesome. But don't sit there and lambast somebody who doesn't feel the same way you do. Because to create a controversial comment. You're no bigger hypocrites than the Bible thumpers or any other religion that judges and preaches don't judge. Freedom of choice! But we judge you whenever you make a choice. You're a hypocrite. End of story. Because at the end of the day, like a religion, at the end of the day, all the shit around it doesn't matter. It, is the belief in a god or is the belief in a Linux kernel and operating system? That is the common core of the belief that that is a better alternative, a better path. And that's the one that should be fucking celebrated. And we should, and we talk about diversity, but we lambast people who emphasize and exercise that right to choose in that diversity. Judge all you want doesn't mean you need to lambast the people who don't see it the same fucking way you do. Because. The thing is, 
this isn't just a tech thing or a religion thing. It's a people thing. Hypocrisy is a bitch. And when you get called out for it, people aren't going to like it. But when you really look at it, we preach choice. But we lambast people who exercise that choice. Because it doesn't agree with my worldview or my take on something. Oh, Celebrate diversity, jackasses. Don't hinder it. That's not... That's not going to get people to want to use Linux. This isn't... Of course this isn't everybody. And... I know that this is very much generalizing the Linux community. Um, and I'm sure if this video blows up by any chance, there's going to be a lot of people that tell me um, how internet privacy or uh, having the choice of whether or not you send your data is important. And the state, yes, to have the choice of privacy to have the choice to send things is important how you decide to exercise that choice that's up to you not my call i can give you the reasons and not from a philosophical point of view like hey these are some of the bad things that can potentially happen and what you do with that information is totally up to you but to say, well, you shouldn't do that because this, this, and this. That shuts down any person when they're confronted like that. Because it shows that you are nothing more than something that the Linux community will know exactly what I say. Makes you look like a fucking zealot. And hey, if you want to be compared to that, I'm all set. I have my preferences. I have plenty of things I like to say. The things I argue about and the things that I yell and scream about is when th knowledge, like factually wrong things is passed off as knowledge, especially as it relates to Linux. That's the shit I yell and scream about. But I'm also not afraid to point out the amount of hypocrisy that the Linux community also spews. And it's not all of it. This is usually coming from the free software, like free software only, end of the crowd, like that side. Not all of them are as extreme as others. And that's cool. I love that. I love people who are like, hey, do you. As opposed to the ones that are not that way. So, let's finish up this video. And I'm just a sheep. Fine. But let me tell you, I'm one of those people that doesn't care. You're not a sheep. Because here's the reason. You actually question and challenge the status quo of the community. Sheep challenge. Uh, sheep don't challenge. Sheep just go and do whatever they're told. I call bullshit and don't do that. And you don't. And I applaud you for that. I applaud people who challenge the status quo of a community and the acceptable things and the, challenge the hypocrisy of a community. So I'm going to do this thing and click the subscribe button to I on PC. And anybody who watches this video should as well. Because really at the end of the day, we want a better community. We have to look at the hypocrisy of our own community before we can start lambasting other communities. The sensible ones need to be the ones speaking for us. A better interaction 
with the community changes everything. And the community has changed a lot in the last 20 years. But it's still got a lot of elements speaking for it that people just don't coalesce to. And it'll drive people away from what you're trying to change. You hurt your own message at times by letting them be the ones speaking for you. So at the end of the day, I am PC. Thank you for doing this video. I applaud you for challenging the community. But at the end of the day, am I right? Am I wrong? Well, you guys know what to do. Rate it, 